What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Not a surprise that William Barnack jumps into the Boston Pro Show. As you guys remember, only top 5 automatically qualify for next year's Olympia. And after 2016, it was the first time in William's career that he didn't make that top 5 previous year. So it makes perfect sense that William is competing at Boston Pro Show to get the win and end the Olympia qualification. Then shut the season down and get things going for this year's Olympia. His performance at Arnold Classic has made him really relevant again and people will not think about counting him out now. Plus, winning Boston Pro is another great opportunity to make some money as the prize money for first place is $35,000. Bonag already made $130,000 at Arnold Classic as well. People are still asking this question. Did William Bonag deserve to win the whole show? So here is a response from two of the very known guys of bodybuilding industry. I think it's a really mixed bag because if you want to go for size and shape, you're going to go with Brandon. If you want to go for the conditioning, it was William. Again, I would have leaned a little bit more towards the conditioning end because that's just me. That's my preference. Bonac is back, baby. Um, no, that made me very happy. You know, especially, you know, the show he had at the Olympia, I know he was very down. So to see him come back and, you know, look 10 times better, I'm happy for him. As a Brit Wilkin fan, I was really hoping that he would do Boston Pro. But turns out him and the team around him strongly believe that they need to go back to the drawing board and make some improvements before hitting the stage once again. In the statement made post Arnold Classic, Brett admits that he is disappointed with his performance and that he did not bring his best. But him not deciding to compete at Boston raises a question that if it was just a peaking issue at the Arnold, then why not take the upcoming Boston show as an opportunity to present a better package and get another comparison with some of the veterans? As Nick Walker said regarding a question about Brett Wilkins' performance, that he did great by placing 6th at the Arnold, which is the only second pro show of his career. It was just that the expectations he set for himself were too high. I think Brett did fantastic. Um, you know, this is his second open show and, you know, it was the Arnold. Um, and it's, a, you know, the Arnold is a very big show. And for him to get sixth with making the amount of improvements that he made from Chicago is great. And here are a couple of more interesting answers by Nick Walker in his trademark manner. I'm winning it for sure. Um, I, I would have won the whole show. Yeah. When Marcelo announced that he will be doing classic physique this year, Chris Bumstead was invited to Muscle Contest International podcast and he was asked about him. And his first comment was that he admires his physique but how will Horse MD make classic physique weight looking like that? And he had a point. I mean, look at Marcelo right now. He looks huge. I've always respected his physique. You can tell it's absolutely a crazy physique. I don't know how the hell he's going to make a classic physique weight limit looking like that because he looks huge. But I think it would be amazing to step on stage with him at some point. And if we could compare those in live time on stage, it would be a lot of fun. In all honesty, he can compete in open bodybuilding if he wants to. He was in good condition at Expo Super Show, but I believe he can get a lot tighter and dry. On a totally separate note, he will be a great addition in Classic Physique this year and would love to see him go against the best in Classic.
Big Grammy left the door open in 2021, yet he still defended the title successfully. His coach and trainer stated multiple times that the lack of density on stage was simply because of lack of training throughout the year. This year, however, Rami hasn't stopped. He has been training non-stop. And that is a dangerous sign for everyone aiming for that Olympia title this year. Just a few weeks back, DJ said he is over 350 pounds. The size factor is still overwhelming on stage. Combine that with his 2020 conditioning, where he won his first Olympia, he will be extremely hard to beat. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.